Okay, this just arrived from Lamnia. This is from Finland. The company is based in Finland. Let's get this open and see what I got in here. There's a box inside of a box. Okay, let's get this open. See what we got. Okay, this is from Cold Steel. But it is made for Cold Steel in India. So let's get this open and see what we got. Just has some white paper on it and some plastic. Okay, let's get this plastic off. Looks like it's taped on there pretty good. Okay, I put some paper down because this thing looks like it's heavily oiled. So, let's get the plastic off. Alright, look at that. It's got some metal up here, some steel. And then it has steel on the tip. Kind of an old, old world kind of look. It's a pretty nice quality leather sheath. And look at this belt dangler with a swivel. It's got like a copper rivets and swivel and look how thick that is. That is really nice looking, really nice stitching too. And this comes off, here let me use my other hand, okay you can slide that down, you unbuckle it there and slide it down. Look at that. Really nice. Now let's put that back on. Take a look at the knife. There it is. Look at that. It's got a lot of cosmoline grease on it there to keep it protected. It has... A hardwood handle looks like rosewood it's kind of reddish and then goes into a really dark rich brown it's got flathead screws that hold the handle scales on and one side's like the female side and then the other side screws into it, the male side and look how thick the handguard is Wow just a super thick hunk of steel there this is full tang. The tang goes right through completely into the handle. As you can see here, let's see if I can get the light on it just right. It is completely full tang. And the interesting thing is instead of doing two separate handle scales, you don't see the tang on top. Let's see if I can get that in the light there for you. It's just looks like hard wood on the top just covering the top of the tang but it is 100% full tang comes clear out the back this is 10 listed as 1085 and sometimes 1090 high carbon steel uh, high carbon spring steel it's treated to a spring temper and it's blued just like a nice shotgun or a nice rifle has has a bluing on it. So that's not just like a paint coating or something. This is actually real bluing where they blue the steel. And I think that's just really nice because they did a great job. And it's the same with the steel here and on the end of this. And it's just super nice in there. Man. And when I looked at this, I noticed it's quite straight. It's very straight. It has a very nice, like, needle-sharp tip. 
so sharp and look at that wow this thing's like a sword the camera definitely does not do this justice okay I just wiped off some of that grease so you can see that blued beautiful blue blade it's almost black it's so dark wow it's gorgeous and look at that fuller on there it's it's massive this thing is just unbelievable and the the rosewood handle is just gorgeous it's smooth it's got rounded edges uh, I actually ordered one of these knives from Amazon and the one I got said it was uh, 1085 high carbon steel but the fit and the finish was terrible the tip of the blade was bent over but the main part of the blade was curved this way so it bent this way and then the very tip bent back that way and it had some scratches on it the sheath was okay and the handle was decent but I ended up sending it back because it, and it was as dull as a spoon so I ended up sending that one back, got my money refunded, and I, I actually was just wondering if I should even order another one, but then I remembered this company, Lamnia, and I figured if anybody had like a cold steel factory first, like high quality version of this knife, it would be them. So I checked and they had some in stock and it, these come in 1055 high carbon spring steel. That's the older ones. And then they also make these uh, newer ones in like 1085, 1090 high carbon spring steel. And that's the one that I got. And I'm sure both are fine. If you have the 1055 and the spring steel, it's still, I'm sure it's a wonderful knife. But I ended up getting this one, and it just arrived today, and it's it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's straight. It's I think it's sharp. I haven't done a paper cutting test yet, but let's get some measurements first. Okay, you're looking at about oh about eleven and a half inches, somewhere in there for the blade, and about about 18 if you go clear out to the point just about 18 inches overall so that's a massive bowie knife it's got a finger choil here which is nice because even though it has this excellent sword like hand guard so you could fend off people coming at you with some major weapons you can put your finger over this into the choil into the finger choil there and then do some feather sticks or some fine carving and that actually fits like a glove it, it's not uncomfortable at all and then this is called a uh, something like a, a pistol grip or a partial pistol grip and the good thing about it is it has just enough curve that that catches your hand so the theory is, or the reason for it, is so when you're swinging really hard, you won't lose it out of your hand because it gives you that little extra to hang on to, especially if you were chopping, which is very nice. This, I don't know, this fits my hand beautifully. I mean, wow, that's comfortable. It's like it was made for my hand. I cannot complain. I got fairly big hands, not gigantic hands, but I usually wear an extra large in gloves and it fits me well this is a big beautiful knife and I'm gonna actually take these off so I can show you what the tang looks like underneath okay this is what I was talking about you got the male screw and then you got the female screw and they go together and that's what holds this one piece handle scale which is freaking awesome on this full tang buoy you can see it's blued even underneath of the handle it's full tang and the weld that you can see on each side here is to weld this hand guard on 
so that it isn't loose or fall off. But this is a full tang knife. This weld is only for the hand guard. And that is pretty sweet. This thing is battle ready. It is solid as it gets. Now I'm going to put a little polish on this and clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to put it back together. Okay, right here on the blade. Can you see it right there? It's almost impossible. Okay, right there on the blade. It looks like it says old and then SL or something. That's actually says cold steel. It's stamped on the blade, but then it looks like it's been kind of sanded off, like they stamped it first and then fixed it up as they went on. And this is number 93. It's been stamped. So Cold Steel 93. Doesn't say anything on this side. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I got it all back together. nice that looks all I needed was a small flat screwdriver and I used this little skinny one this little Phillips just to uh, poke it through the hole and get the female side to pop out there that was it no major tools required if you want to take these scales off these don't this handle does not just fall off either you actually have to like I was taking the back of it like this and like tapping after I took the screws out because it's on there snug. It ain't going nowhere. Now I got these in nice and tight. Everything's oiled really well. And that is just, wow, that's beautiful. And the sheath, the sheath is a work of art just like the Bowie knife itself. But I don't want to send anybody in the wrong direction. And what I mean by that is there are some factory seconds of this knife and they suck. I mean, there's just no getting around it. They do. This one is obviously one of the good ones. And I'm very glad that I sent the last one back. And that I did try again. And I got this one. Because it is worth it. So let's do a paper cutting test. Straight out of the box. And see, see if it's uh, pretty sharp. It looks like it's got a pretty decent edge on it. But looks can be deceiving. So we'll do the test. Okay, we got a sheet of paper here. It's this is printer paper. And we got the Bowie knife. The Cold Steel 1917 Frontier Bowie knife. Let's see if it's sharp out of the box. It's not bad. Not bad seems like if you do it just right it cuts the way through all the way down to the tip this could use a stropping I'll tell you that but it's pretty sharp it's not too bad a little better not that bad Okay, yeah, I got a piece of tough paper here. It's almost cardboard like. It's really tough. You see? That is a pretty sharp knife. It's got a needle tip on it. Definitely, this is designed for combat. Well, there you have it. I mean,. This thing is $199 if you get it from Cold Steel, which they're out of stock right now. And you can find it on Amazon quite a bit cheaper. Even eBay has it sometimes, but you're probably going to get an old one or a factory second, which you're not going to probably be happy with, unless it's just a wall hanger. I got this one from Lamnia of Finland, and it's obviously a factory first. And it is excellent. And it's not super expensive. It's cheaper than cold steel. And uh, look at that sheath. Man, that is beautiful. That is something. Uh, weight on this, I'm not sure. I don't remember. 
to feel it, it feels like it's close to two pounds. I think they might have said it was like 1.7 or something like that. But it's got some weight. It's probably definitely close to two pounds. It's a quarter inch thick or close to it. And if you can see that. Very thick. It doesn't feel as heavy as you'd think. It's very nimble. And there's enough weight in this handle that it doesn't feel horribly like front heavy. It's very nice. I think if you're into this type of knife, when who isn't? <laughs> this thing is awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't really think of anything else. It's 18 inches overall, just about a 12 inch blade. Comes with this beautiful leather sheath. It has the metal tip. It's got a uh, swivel, it, about a three inch belt loop on it. Huge belt loop. 1090 high carbon steel, high carbon spring steel. Like they tempered it so that it's good and springy. I, I believe it can be bent, if you stab it into a log and you bend it this way or this way, it passes like the five inch test. Like you can go this way at least five inches or this way at least five inches without breaking that tip off. And that says a lot when you got a needle sharp tip. It's got a false swedge up here at the top that isn't sharpened, but that's good because the fuller end's right there. So this piece right here is still very thick. And that adds, that lends to the overall strength of the tip, making it almost spear like. So this thing is gorgeous. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Joe Doomsday, signing out.